Guess where we are? <laughs> We're near the chickens. I was going to say Scarborough then. Scarborough? Yeah, Sean's got wood as well. I have, is, look. Uh, makes a change for a start of a vlog, doesn't it? <laughs> Wooden post. We're just by the chicken coop. And as you know, well, if you've been paying attention. But they don't pay attention. They never do, do they? They only watch for the eye candy. That's where it is, isn't it? Oh, that's me. That must be me. Wrong channel. <laughs> uh, uh, chickens have been under lockdown for well, how long now? Oh, since autumn. Months and months. Yes. Because of bird flu. And it's not... Well, we feel a bit sorry for them because, yeah. I mean, they've got the whole of this eight metre by three or four metre uh, enclosure which does protect them and they've got the chicken coop at the end yes. where they can lay their eggs and go and have a natter and stuff like that, knit a jumper. But the, we, we wanted to give them a bit more space, didn't we? Yeah, because they are allowed out, but they have to be fenced in. Yeah, So um, they can't really be fenced in when we've got acres of land around them, can they? <laughs> so over the last few weeks we've been, well, Sean mainly has been building this enclosure uh, and it's a bit, it's a bit, it's good. But it's, what's the word I'm looking for? Wholesome, because it's not like entirely level and straight. It's a little bit. <laughs> it's a it? wibbly wobbly fence. So a bit cookie like <laughs> me. Uh, but we've nearly finished it. So we thought we'd uh, show you what we've been doing uh, to show you how much space we've got for the chickens once it's finished in a few days. Uh, and let you, well, basically have a look at Sean's work and, and, and tell him how wrong he is. Yeah, because that's what you'll do. And then I'll just block you. <laughs> What are you doing, Shawnee? Putting a post in. <laughs> How long's the post? Uh, that big. It's about two meters, I think. Two and a bit meters. Yeah. Pretty long, isn't it? Yeah, and it goes in about. I don't know, maybe nearly a, just over half a meter. Do you like Sean's whacker thingy? I've got me rammer. I'm sure it says badass on there, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't read it because it probably done. Is it heavy? It's really heavy, How yeah. How long can I keep you talking until your arms start aching? Uh, about four seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever think, like, even two years ago, that in two years we'd be like out here in Highlands hammering posts to keep Building chicken. fences. Yeah. Don't wobble it. I'm sorry. It's not fully in yet. How often have I heard that? <laughs> How come there's these big thick posts then? These thick posts are support posts. These are for when you're tightening the wire along the top and in the middle so that it doesn't get pulled over and these are concreted in. How deep do they go? They go down about a metre. Wow. How did you get them in? Basically hard work digging it out with a shovel and then filling it with concrete once the post's in. So you rang a lad? <laughs> no, I did it myself. Now we've got these posts in, and the two middle posts, we're putting this galvanised wire, which will support the chicken wire. Uh, I've wrapped it around this post, clipped it in, wrapped the spare wire around there to keep it secure, and what we will do is we'll take it down to the other support post and tighten it up. Got to measure and cut a piece of this galvanised chicken wire, bring it down here and attach it to the post and the wire. I'm clipping the chicken wire to this galvanised wire at the top. How? How? With these staples. I've got a special staple gun and some special staples in there that when you click like that, 
it just puts a loop round them and holds it in. There you go. You know what? What? Bowl of snot. Bowl of <laughs> Do you know why? Bogey pie. Well, I had to liven it up. It were a bit blue Peter, this one, wasn't it? It's just make, It's just building a fence. Making fences out of toilet roll holders yeah. and glue. <laughs> like Tracy Island, do you remember that? I do. And them candelabra things at Christmas they always used to make. That after coat hangers. That were a proper fire risk. <laughs> About 45 council houses burnt down after them, didn't they? Now, we know that it's not exactly national park quality, but it's just us. It's just for our little bit of land to keep the chickens in. Yes, keep them safe. So please don't start sending in comments saying you should have done this, you should have done that, and this is not level and that's not level. The reason some of the posts are a little bit not straight is where we live used to actually be the sea, didn't it? It did. When you dig down, it's just rocks, big rocks, yeah. and like a bit of sandy soil on top. So whenever we're hammering these posts in, inevitably within a few inches, you hit this rock and the post just goes like that. <laughs> so it's something that we're just having to live with and it's, it's easier to do that than it is to dig grip big holes. Yeah. And, and it doesn't look that bad. And it's fine. It should be finished. Well, when will it be finished? Well, I don't know. I'm going to crack on after lunch and it should be finished next week. <laughs> next week. We've been saying been that, say that since, since October. Since November. <laughs> <laughs> when they announced the bird flu, innit? Oh dear. These can't wait to get out. And there's plenty of fresh grass for them to be picking at. Yeah. So hopefully within the week it should be finished. And yeah. we'll show you it. We'll show you it when, when the chickens are out and enjoying themselves. Yeah. I'd like more chickens. We could get more. We'll need another coop, but, but there's plenty of room down there. And there's a bit of land next to the chickens, which we can't use at the moment because we've got to sort some old pipes out underneath yeah. uh, where the septic tank drains. But once we've done that, we might have some land for either some more chickens or some ducks. Because we'd like ducks this yeah. year, if we can get it sorted. Yeah, we need to sort a pond out for ducks. You know, as well as the train barn and the bees and everything else. Yeah, so you might have to wait. <laughs> but that would be good. So if you've liked the vlog, and if you're not already, please subscribe. A lot of people watch these vlogs and don't subscribe. Hit the uh, thumbs up, and if you switch on the notifications bell, just ding it, and it goes... It goes wibbly wobbly. Yep, then YouTube will let you know every time we release a new vlog. If you want to stay up to date on what's going on in the train barn, we are putting that stuff on our other channel. Yes. Uh, which is youtube.com forward slash at the train barn. I'm sure there'll be something on screen. And there'll be a link underneath as well, below this video. Direct you. Don't know what I was looking at there. If you want to support the channel, help us get some ducks. That would be nice, wouldn't it? It would. And get some exclusive content. And I have got my clothes on in most of it. That's a different channel, isn't it? There's a link to that in the video description as well. Uh, then join us on Patreon or become a YouTube member. Again, links in the video description. For, there's a lot of links in the video there's description. Yeah, there is. Is there, anything, is there any room for like anything a else? a library of web links in there. Right, we're off for some lunch. We're going to give uh, Ollie a notice, a little bit of a cuddle. And we'll see you next time. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Ta-ra! <laughs>